Bargain Bros. So, I beat Pat, obviously, because I chose Star Wars and he's an idiot. He chose a golf war game. Like, I don't know what he was thinking. But, I think, you know, I, I don't know if he's going to beat the King of Trash because I love bad games. And he only is starting to dabble with bad games. So, I think I could beat him. I don't know what he's going to get. Our budget's five bucks. Um, I'm going to go to a thrift store because they always have the bottom of the barrel. We know that already. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to a thrift store. We're going to go to Savers. Let's go. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's a hell's angel. Oh, yeah? I'll... You can go. I'll let him. That's all you, buddy. I'll let it slide. Good at parking. I was a valet for two months. These are cool. Dude, I wish I had 99 cents each to do that. <laughs> so thrift store was a bust, but Sunshine Square always will never let us down. Never will never let us down. Cause they have a GameStop and it's right there. Let's go. <laughs> I can't do a bag reveal like Pat does because <laughs> in my fucking county it costs five cents for a goddamn bag. So here's my bag reveal. It's my game. Boom. Oh, you have to play the songs? It doesn't say it has a microphone. Play and dance is Hannah Montana or Miley Stewart! Let's go. Fuck. <laughs> We're going. Gotta play this fucking game. So, you guys let me down. <laughs> no words. Uh, we lost last time, and uh, I'm not bitter. I'm not bitter or anything. I'm fine. I'm, uh, I'm fine. So this time, we our budget is five dollars, and uh, we're going for the bad video games. Now I'm already at a disadvantage. I'm down 0-1, and we're facing the king of the trash, James Johnson. And uh, so we got to think. We got to think like a trash king now. So what is the what is the console that has the worst video games? <laughs> the king of the shovelware, the Nintendo Wii. to GameStop. Um, we're looking for the shovelware Wii games. I think that's what I'm set on. Five bucks, that's very realistic. <laughs> um, but who knows, we could be walking out with an Xbox game. Uh, but yes, Wii shovelware, let's get it started. Oh wait, we doesn't film vertical. What if I film this whole thing vertical? <laughs>
Imagine party babies. Now, first of all, the look the guy gave me as I was buying this game, and you know it's good because it's gotten at least four or five different price changes. Imagine party babies. I don't have to use the balance board, but it is compatible for those of you who were wondering, and it looks like it's kind of like a mini game collection. 40 mini games. Oh, this is going to be good. What is up guys, it's Jams, and me and Pat this week were tasked with getting bad games for under $5. And guess what I got? Hannah Montana the movie. And you know what, this game, I, I have high hopes for this game because I think it's gonna be just bad enough to overcome Pat's bad game. So let's just get right into it. Let's see, let's see what this game's all about. Hannah Montana the movie The Game is developed by Enspace, who oddly enough developed two Duke Nukem games for the PS1. And they also developed Mary-Kate and Ashley's Sweet 16 License to Drive and DS ports of Call of Duty. But how does Hannah Montana compare to these other masterpieces? As soon as you open up this game, you get blasted with Hannah Montana music, which I'm pretty sure I can't play because Disney will sue me. And yo, check out this title sequence, you get the same three stamps over and over again, and you know, we're playing Hannah Montana, dude! We start a new game and we choose an icon for our save. And of course I'm gonna choose the pink haired one because I don't know but looking back I should have went for the fucking chicken god damn it the game warns us about doing the tutorial before we start the story mode but fuck that I'm gonna do the story mode because this can't be too hard to learn we start at the LA Concert Center where we sing Hannah Montana music and we're Hannah Montana look at this but you don't actually sing she's singing and you get to do the motions on the screen that the game tells you to you get a lasso and you get to do a hand pump and you get to do a fist bump that's cool and then you get to do like jazz hands I guess <laughs> and then there's these little parts where they show the lyrics but you don't actually sing at all you just shake the Wiimote when it goes over the words and shaking the Wiimote doesn't feel like you're singing with Hannah Montana so what and then there's these parts where a fretboard comes up from a guitar and then you're supposed to strum with the Wiimote and change with the nunchuck at the same time and it doesn't fit with the timing of the song at all so it's just pointless to put there at all Then there's parts that you get to strike poses that doesn't work half the time, so you're pretty much looking like an asshole in real life where the poses don't work. And not only do you get to play the guitar, but you also get to play the piano, which is just moving the Wiimote and having it go over the piano keys where the game tells you to. And these all just come at you whenever they want to. There's no indication of what's coming next. You just get thrown into it and you have to react super quickly to it. So you could barely ever get a perfect score in this game. But I did in one of these songs because I became a Hannah Montana master. But believe it or not, this shitty section of singing and dancing with Hannah Montana is only half the game. The other half of the game has you go on a point and click adventure like Thing, but it's not because it's not fun at all. I can summarize this entire portion of the game like this. You talk to somebody, they tell you what to do, the arrow in the corner of the screen tells you where to go, you go there, you talk to somebody, and then that's it. And that just repeats over and over and over again, and that's the entire section of the game. Occasionally, you have to find items for people, and that's just looking around the map and finding those said items, which are pretty pretty obvious but that's not all you also get to answer your cell phone by putting the Wiimote up to your head that's pretty cool but the sound doesn't come out of the Wiimote speaker like it should it actually comes out of the TV which is dumb that would be cool and I would praise that but it doesn't happen so stupid there's also collectibles hidden on the map that you can design your tour bus with that's pretty neat and yes of course you can design Hannah Montana's outfit why wouldn't you be able to do that but after all the progress that I put in it just decided to not have me change into the outfit I designed so fuck you too Hannah Montana and I just realized recording this that I have no idea what the story in the story mode is but I know that there is a story probably has something to do with Hannah Montana and you know 
being Hannah Montana. But check out the lovely voice actors. I, I've made, I'm gonna make a compilation of these voice acting clips because they're just too great. Molly, help! Molly! Well, I just need to finish raking, but in the meantime, do you mind feeding blue jeans for me? Grandma, no. I'm sorry. It's just... It's just that you've lost touch with the little girl from Crawley Corners, Tennessee. Excuse me. Sorry, sorry. I gotta get back to the team to tell them all... Mizzy. And after following an arrow for most of the game, I got fucking sick and tired of it, and there's no goddamn way I'm completing the story that I have no idea what it is anyway. Hannah Montana, the movie, the game. That was... That was... Pat, how are you, how are you gonna beat that, Pat? How are you gonna beat that, man? How's it going guys? Patrick here, and I'm kind of disappointed in you. Now Ubisoft has made some great games in the past like Far Cry and Assassin's Creed, but why didn't you guys tell me about Imagine Party Babies? You guys know how much I like these subtle sounds of babies screaming and crying at the top of their lungs, so I'm really excited to play this game for you guys. And if you're thinking, Pat, this game looks like complete garbage, don't worry, it is! Now let's get into this game. I'm super excited to take the next four hours to record footage for you guys. Imagine Party Babies for the Nintendo Wii. And people wonder why the Wii went so fast. The pinnacle of shovelware. Now when you're greeted into the home screen, you will see... Billy! That looks like Billy got into the rosé again. Imagine Party Babies is a minigame compilation kind of in the vein of Mario Party but without the fun. Imagine Party Babies is just a collection of minigames and it's pretty straightforward in that regard. Uh, there's no board or anything, you're just competing in minigames. So when you start the game you are of course going to create your characters. Uh, you can see here there's not much to to do, you could change skin color and clothes and stuff like that. Had to make an intent talk one, and also had to put little Jamsy in the mix as well. So, once you create your character and name your character, you are off to the races. Now, there are 40 mini games in this collection, which is actually pretty good for the value. Of course, now I bought it for three dollars, but I don't know what the price was when it originally launched. 40 games sounds like a good deal, but they're all equally terrible. I did find a couple decent game, so I'll kind of highlight those. One of the games is a kind of point-and-click bubble light gun game, I guess you would say. Uh, you can also tickle babies. You can, you can tickle baby, that's a thing. And who could forget thrilling games like brushing teeth and changing babies' diapers? This game has everything! Now there is one cool mechanic. There are four different seasons that you can choose from, and depending on which season you play in, the background of the world will change. So, there is this game uh, that you can play in every season, so it's kind of cool in that regard seeing it change from fall to winter to summer. Uh, I, I, I thought that that was cool. But aside, I mean, these games are very, very lackluster. They're either point and click, or simple button combinations, half of which don't even land, so technically half the game is broken. Uh, and when you do play the mini games and they do work, you're dominating. I mean, I, I realize that this game might be for babies, but the AI in this game is as terrible as it looks. Now, the only thing worse than the mini games is actually playing them and seeing people watch you play them. I mean, some of the controls are questionable to say the least. <laughs> But seriously, there was a number of games that I actually played in this collection. I would say at least five, no exaggeration, that didn't even work. It was tough for me to even get the controls down and to even get my character to move. So, <laughs> in this regard, I would say about there's really only like 30 mini games to this collection. Uh, uh, oh man. Holy shit, there's a fucking story mode? Well, this story mode doesn't do a lot. Essentially, you are a brand new up-and-coming babysitter, and your mentor, Anagram... Ha... <laughs> Anagram is teaching you how to be the best babysitter ever. Now, for the sake of this review, and because I don't care about my own life, I spent four hours playing this game and completing it to the very end. And essentially, you're going through this story. You play as Katie, who has big aspirations of working Good on you, Katie. Now you, all you do, there's not really much in the story mode. You don't control Katie at all. Essentially, there's a little bit of story, a little bit of cutscenes, which are poorly done, and then you go right into minigames. So it's kind of like, there is a story there, but there isn't a story there. Spoiler alert, because I know none of you are ever going to play this. Katie ends up working there, and Anagram retires. 
sad face. Overall, I can see the appeal. I mean, there's a lot of games for a low price, and I'm, I'm making stuff up. This game's terrible. But apparently IGN likes it. Well, guys, I would definitely not recommend that game. And if I would have to give it a play score, I would give it a... Well, won't be needing that anymore. Thank you so much, guys, again for watching this video. This was episode two of Bargain Bros. Remember, the next episode, episode three, will be featured on my channel. Link, I'm sure, is in the description. And remember, guys, the first and the 15th of every month, we will be having consecutive episodes on my channel and this channel right here. So thank you guys very much. Don't forget to vote in the comments. We love to hear your feedback. We love to hear your votes. Hopefully uh, it's not as lopsided as last time. But thanks again, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jams, for having me, man. Bargain Bros. <laughs>